Welcome back to Channel Ron. Today I'm going to be working on a meat grinder. It's a Northern Industrial Super Grinder, it's called. Uh, there's no model number on this, so I'll see what I can do to find some more information on this and put it down below. So they was dropped off saying that they had no power, and sure enough, we got it plugged in and I've got nothing. So let's go ahead and rip it apart and see what we can find out. First things first, let's go ahead and unplug it. And looking at this earlier, I've got six screws uh, on the bottom here, so I'm going to go ahead and remove all those. All right, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this wheel and see if the motor turns over, and it does. So that's okay. And I think the next step is to actually see if we have some voltage. Could be as simple as the power cord could be that. So I'm going to go ahead, plug this in, and then I'm going to take my multimeter. I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to put it on uh, AC voltage. All right. And let's see if we're getting a voltage to the terminal block. And I am. So I'm getting the proper voltage, so the cord is okay. I can tell you right now that this is an old unit. Uh, the switching mechanism down there is really quite cheesy. Very, very mechanical. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it was just a contacts down there. So I'm going to have to probably uh, dig into this a little bit more. So rather than bore you with that, I'm uh, just going to explain what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this whole motor mechanism. There's th uh, four bolts. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to pull those out. That should allow me to pull this mechanism out. Now I'm going to disconnect the, looks like, the brown and the blue. And just take note of where those go before you disconnect it, or take a picture of it. Alrighty, I think I have found the problem. What we've got is it looks like this switch right here has come disconnected. Looks like that goes in there somehow. That must be the circuit breaker. So that looks like the problem right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I may try this. I may hook this back up once I get that uh, on. It actually, where that has been tripped, because I just reset that, I think what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to leave everything right here, plug the power in, and just bench test it. I'm going to plug this in. If you're not comfortable doing this, please don't do it. So I'm just going to bench test it. So basically what's going to happen is I reset the breaker. I should plug the motor back in. I've reset the breaker that looked like it might have fallen out and kicked out. I don't know exactly why that was out. I'm not sure it still may be broken. But this is going to tell me if everything is okay. And then I'll worry about that afterwards. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Then I'm going to hit the on button and see what happens. I'm going to hold this motor. All right. So that was the problem. The circuit breaker had kicked, but at the same time it fell out. So I got to find out why that circuit breaker is um, uh, not in where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. And now I'm going to concentrate on that. So uh, rather than bore you on that, I'll go and take a look at that and I'll come back to it. Okay, so I found the problem, as I said before, the circuit breaker fell out, and the reason why that fell out is this is just really a piece of junk. 
that's all there is to it. Um, it's definitely an older model. Uh, look at the contacts, you know, these here. I may actually try to file those down a little bit, just kind of clean them up with a piece of sandpaper. It worked when we tested it earlier, when we bench tested, but uh, rather than put it all back together and then have a problem, I may just kind of clean those up. But as you can see, what's happening here is this is just uh, squeezed in there by these two pieces of metal. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to try to duplicate what they've done, just kind of squeeze the, uh, these little tabs down to kind of help hold it there, and then give it back to the client and hope for the best. Okay, for what it's worth, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, put it all back together and it should be all set. Okay, there it is, so moment of truth. Let's go ahead and see if it's gonna work. Turn it on. There it is. Ready to rock and roll. So, as you can see, there really wasn't much to it. I mean, I'm not really impressed with the switching mechanism inside here, so it must be an older model. Don't know, really don't care. They wanted it fixed, and it's fixed. <laughs> so, well, I hope that helps you with your Northern Industrial Super Grinder uh, repair. Again, it was just a circuit breaker uh, that basically just fell out. So maybe they just hit that too hard, or maybe it fell. Whatever the case may be, uh, you can see I just kind of had to squeeze that together to make it stay in there, and it should be all set for the for the uh, for the meat grinding episode. So, thanks an awful lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.